Hello friends, this video on matter and magnetism part 34 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 33 before going ahead with this part. So let us look at the first problem. It says that a 100 turn closely wound circular coil of radius 10 cm carries a current of 3.2 amperes. So that means total number of turns is 100. Radius is 10 centimeters that is 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters carries a current of 3.2 amperes. So we have to calculate the field at the center of the coil. That means it is somewhat like this. There are some 100 turns like this of a circular coil and it carries a current of 3.2 amperes you have to calculate the magnetic field at the center of the coil. So magnetic field at the center of the coil is given by mu naught i by 4 pi r into the angle subtended at the center that is 2 pi. So this is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 r. So what is mu naught? Mu naught is now, in this case, you have n number of turns as well. So, this will become mu naught n i. So, here also it will be mu naught n i. So, this mu naught will be equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. n is the number of turns that is 100. i is current which is 3.2 amperes. This divided by 2 into radius of the coil which is 10 into 10 to the power minus 2. So the magnetic field at the center comes out to be 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 Tesla. Now the second part asks us to calculate the magnetic moment of this coil. Now magnetic moment is given as product of current into area but since it has n turns so it will get multiplied with the number of turns as well because magnetic moment of of, uh, of a loop with n turns is equivalent to magnetic moment of n loops right so this will be n into i into a so n is 100 i is 3.2 and a is pi r square so this will be 100 into 3.2 into 3.14 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square so this comes out to be 10 ampere meter square so this is the magnetic moment of the coil. Let us look at the next problem. It says that the same coil which we discussed in the uh, first problem is placed in a vertical plane and is free to rotate about a horizontal axis which coincides with its diameter. So that means the same coil. So it says that the coil is placed in a vertical plane where it is free to rotate about a horizontal axis which coincides with its diameter. So let us suppose this is the coil. So there is a horizontal axis about which it is free to rotate and the horizontal axis coincides with its diameter. Right? So a uniform magnetic field of two tesla in the horizontal direction exists such that initially the axis of the coil is in the direction of the field. So that means initially let us suppose this is the direction of magnetic field and this was the direction of the uh, axis initially. So initially what happens is the angle between the axis of the coil and the magnetic field is 0 degree. The coil rotates through an angle of 90 degree under the influence of the magnetic field. So that means initially the angle was 0 degree, later the angle becomes 90 degree, right? So what are the magnitudes of the torque on the coil in the initial and final position? So torque is given by M cross B, right? So this torque is nothing but M B sin theta. So initial torque will be equal to M B sin theta initial which is equal to 0 therefore the initial torque will be 0 and final torque will be equal to M B sin theta final. So this will be equal to M B. So what is M? M is the magnetic moment. So what is the magnetic moment in this case? 
magnetic moment will be equal to what we calculated in the previous question that is the magnetic moment is 10 ampere meter square. So this will be your magnetic moment and magnetic field that is B is given as 2 tesla. So this will be 2. So the final torque is 20 newton meters. So this is the final torque and this is the initial torque. Now in the fourth part is uh, it asks us to calculate the angular speed acquired by the coil when it has rotated by 90 degrees. So when the coil rotated by 90 degrees like initially let us suppose it was like this then it got rotated and so it became somewhat like this. So what would be the angular speed acquired by the coil? So now here we will apply Newton's second law. So from Newton's second law, we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration. So we can write it as torque is equal to moment of inertia into angular acceleration, right? This is moment of inertia and this is angular acceleration. So this we can write it as torque is equal to I into angular acceleration can be written as d omega by dt. Now d omega by dt can be written as d omega by d theta into d theta by dt. Now what is d theta by dt? d theta by dt is nothing but omega. So from this we can say that, so from this we can say that omega d omega is omega. So now using this we can write this expression. So from this expression we can now write torque is what? Torque is nothing but m cross b that is m b sin theta. This is equal to i into d omega by dt. Instead of d omega by dt we can write omega into d omega by d theta. So now let us take all the theta terms in one side and the omega terms in another side. So let us suppose I write it as m b sin theta d theta is equal to i omega d omega. So now integrating on both sides. Now if we integrate on both sides it becomes integration of sin theta d theta. This becomes integration of omega d omega. So this becomes m b integration of sin theta d theta where theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 because theta initial is 0 and theta final is pi by 2 and omega will be from 0 to omega. So this becomes integration of cos the sin theta is minus cos theta from 0 to pi by 2 and this is equal to i into omega square by 2. So from this we can say that omega square is equal to 2mb divided by i into 1. Cos pi by 2 is equal to 0 and cos 0 is 1. So that becomes 1. Therefore omega is equal to. So from this we can say omega is equal to root over 2 mb divided by i. So now m is nothing but the magnetic moment. So magnetic moment is already calculated as 10. So this will be equal to 2 into 10 into magnetic field is equal to 2 tesla. So this is 2 divided by moment of inertia that is 0 0.1. So this becomes equal to 400 which is equal to 20 second inverse. So this would be the angular velocity or the angular speed that is acquired when it is rotated by 90 degrees. Fine? Okay. So let us go ahead and look at the third problem. It says that a square coil of side 10 centimeters consists of 20 turns and carries a current of 12 amperes. So this is a square coil which is placed in a magnetic field. So each side is 10 centimeters and it consists of 20 turns. 20 turns means if you see it has in this way there are 20 turns of wire. It carries a current of 12 amperes. The coil is suspended vertically and the normal to the plane of the coil makes an angle of 30 degree with the direction of uniform horizontal magnetic field. So that means the normal to this coil 
let us suppose if this is the normal to this coil it makes an angle of 30 degree so the normal to the coil i'm sorry it the uh, normal would be somewhat like this so that normal makes an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal magnetic field so what is the magnitude of torque so torque is given by the cross product of m and b so that would be m b sin theta so here theta is given as 30 degree and what is m m is nothing but n into i into a because there are n number of turns so this b into sin theta so what is n n is 20 i is the current that is 12 a is the area of the coil area of this square coil would be side square that is 10 into 10 so 10 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square so now this into the magnetic field which is equal to 0 0.80 into sine theta that is sine 30 is 1 by 2. So this comes out to be 0 0.96 Newton meter. So this would be the value of the torque. Right. So in this case by mistake I, I had drawn it like this. So it, it tries to say that the normal of the coil let us suppose if this is the normal of the coil. So this normal of the coil will make an angle of, so the normal of the coil which is somewhat like this, this normal makes an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal magnetic field. Now let us go ahead. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.